Hey, I'm TC, and over the past year, I've been working on a video game with my friend Snowball the Anvil called The Flux Phenomena. It's a first-person puzzle game where you can swap the properties of different objects to solve puzzles, inspired by games such as Portal and the Entropy Center. Now today I want to talk a bit about the game, the development so far, and the future of the game, and lastly what our release schedule looks like. So sit back and enjoy the next few minutes, as we tell you a little bit about our game. Flux started life in the 2023 GMTK Game Jam as our response to the jam's theme, Roles Reversed. And during the jam, Snowball came up with the idea of being able to swap the properties of different objects. So if you had a fan and a laser, you could swap them so that the fan is shooting a laser and the laser can now push stuff around. Now we didn't do too well in the jam. Well, that's a bit of an understatement. We did horrifically. I mean, over 5,000th place in everything? How could this ever have happened? Well, it might have had something to do with the fact that this was our first ever 3D game. And also it looked like this. But despite this, we did learn a lot during the jam and decided that we wanted to keep on developing the game, as we really liked the concept. So about a month after the jam, we sat down, opened a blank Unity project, and got to work. A lot happened in the months that followed, and because we used a version control software, we were able to go back and look at these old versions of the game. Now, I don't have enough time in this video to go through all of them, as there are over 650 changes, but if that is a video you would like to see at some point, then let me know down in the comments. What we were initially aiming for was to make a demo of the game that we could release on itch.io and also submit to the BAFTA Young Game Designers competition. And I'm very happy to say that after a lot of hard work and determination, we managed to release that demo in April of 2024 and then go on to submit it to the BAFTA competition. Now sadly we didn't make it to the finals, but we learned so much during the process of making the demo that it was well worth it. And the fact that people were actually playing a thing that we had made and giving feedback on it was incredibly exciting and fulfilling. As a side note, one of the people who had been following the development on Twitter even made a review video, which is so cool! So thank you to Quixel for making that. I've left a link to his channel in the description if you want to go check him out. At this point it was early May, and progress on Flux had ground to a halt, as Snowball and I had to focus on exams that were looming ever closer. But I didn't completely stop developing stuff over this time. Instead of working on Flux, I decided to enter some game jams, such as the 15th and 16th Pirate Software Game Jam, the Addy Valentine's Game Jamery, and the Conspiracy Club Game Jam. Doing these jams was a lot of fun, and I got to do a lot of stuff that I hadn't done in a while, like trying to make a 2D racing game and having to figure out how cars work in Unity and tried to make a single, really polished mechanic with sound effects, particles, and lots more. If anything I'm saying sounds interesting, then I recommend you check out the last few videos I've made on this channel, as they go into a lot more detail about these experiences. Returning to Flux after taking part in all of these jams made me realise how much I had grown as a developer. Comparing stuff that I've made over the course of months, to stuff that I've made in days, and seeing how much of a gap that there was, made me realise that there was a lot that I could do to improve stuff. But going through old scripts and systems and rewriting them would have taken forever, so we opted to start from scratch. Kind of. Whilst we were still using the same product we had used for the original demo, we threw out all of the old systems and rewrote them completely from scratch. Along with this, we also rethought out all of the things you could do in the game, which meant running back the scope of the game and actually planning stuff out, such as the story, mechanics, and visual style of the game, which had gone through a lot of iteration over the past year. And so that brings us up to now. We're basically done redesigning Flux and we're both really happy with how it has come out so far, and we think it's a really solid foundation to build the rest of the game off of. So what's next? Well the main thing we need to do is actually start making the game. We have our mechanics basically finished, the story fairly set out in a visual style complete, and some of the major set pieces blocked out. And so now we actually need to make the game, which is easier said than done. The main things that we need to get done are making the puzzles, making the levels, recording voice lines and sound effects, making the music, and marketing the game. We are currently aiming to release a new demo for the Steam Next Fest in February 2025, and to then release the full game off the end of that. But this may change. This is game development after all. But so long as we don't decide to redesign the entire game again, I think it might just be achievable. I will be putting out more devlogs here on the channel along with some other game development content, so make sure to subscribe to not miss them, and there will be some other links in the description of places that you can find Flux content on, such as Twitter, and well only really Twitter, because that's the only other place I post on. Oh yeah, and TikTok sometimes too. But with all of that said, it's been a crazy year so far, and I can't wait to see what we end up doing next. So thank you so much for watching, subscribe to not miss the next devlog, and I'll see you next time. Bye!